There is a lot of talk of thunderstorms and here's why. A big line of severe storms is crossing South Australia with damaging to destructive winds, huge hailstones and heavy rain. Now the weaker edge of this has come into Western Victoria. This is part one with a strong cold front but there is a deep low that is driving this system and that one there will be part two. The front crosses Victoria tonight and tomorrow morning. Then the low moves over the north of the state from Thursday afternoon. The front spreads this band of rain across most of the state. It is a light spit of rain for Melbourne this evening before increasing somewhat around midnight. There may be some thunderstorms, but not quite like what South Australia have seen. It is gone by lunch tomorrow. Then the low brings showers and more thunderstorms, but these are mainly to the north of the state. We can expect gale force winds with the risk of damaging gusts in these areas tonight and tomorrow morning it is moving eastwards with that front but the heaviest rain affects areas on and north of the ranges as well as the far southwest with 50 to 80 millimeters in just six to nine hours but melbourne is not at risk of flash flooding we are blocked by the ranges but we are on flood watch as this falls onto already saturated catchments the state's rivers will rise once again showers circle around the lows on friday into saturday but they move away just in time, so it is all over by Saturday afternoon. So it is wet on grand final day morning, but all dry by the big game. It is a mild top of 18. Around the nation tomorrow, Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra, Hobart, it is wet. Rain and strong winds, there is the risk of thunderstorms. Adelaide has part two. We've got rain at times, a heavy thunderstorm and ferocious winds. Perth, though, it's great, a sunny top of 19. To Victoria, widespread rain with heavy falls, but that all clears eastwards with the front during the morning. Then showers and thunderstorms develop. This will mainly be in the north and west of the state. Closer in, and we are windy, with around 10 millimetres of rain early, but it will break mid to late morning. Then it's just the risk of showers and thunderstorms. They are mainly over northern suburbs and in the evening, most of the activity stays north of the ranges. So it is wet and windy early in the city. It could be breezy, but dry, a top of 16, then showers most likely at night. For the eight day outlook, we're mostly dry again for much of Friday, including the parade, showers at night, showers Saturday morning, then dry, then Sunday, right up to 23, Mitch.